Who is the next G5 powerhouse now that Cincinnati, UCF, BYU, and Houston have moved on to the Big 12? We got a whole slew of them. Which one jumps off the page at you right now as being the one that's going to kind of take over the mantle for the G5? In, in all honesty, I don't, I don't like any of them. I mean, that's just the truth. I, I, we're just not, we're just not going to see another Cincinnati or UCF. Uh, and that's not true. I would assume it would have to be a Memphis, or I, I think, I think you have to come from a big city or a big fan base, alumni base school that has the money and the funds to to try to compete, and you basically can dominate at a low level long enough to where you can get to the higher level. Because I've tried to talk myself into, like, can App State become that? Can Louisiana become that? I, I just don't I just don't know that they'll ever have the resources that a Cincinnati or UCF ever had. I tend to agree with you. Uh, UCF, Cincinnati, and Houston were, were in hotbed recruiting markets. Uh, yep. They built up fan bases. Games, yeah. of, games of money. Games yes. of money. They had talent that was local. Big cities um, or or in big football areas where football was real, real important. I mean, I guess the only logical answer is Boise. If Boise ever hits again, you know, we've seen it before. Maybe we'll see it again. But I just, I just can't see many others. Memphis has that all the parameters to do that. And, you know, we've been on that stage before. But yeah, I, you know. I, well, here's here's the list that I've got, and I don't have them in any order. I've got Memphis, App State, and, and I put App State because uh, in the Sun Belt, you know, they're going to be getting a better TV contract. Et oh yeah. Um, uh, well, not just a better TV contract. They're, if if you go undefeated on their side of the Sun Belt and go undefeated through the Sun Belt, and they play a tough non-con game every year and ever win that, they're they're going to be in that conversation. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They'll be there and every year. The whole world remembers seeing that. It was like 25 years ago. The whole world remembers seeing them beat a blue blood. Oh, yes. So we have it in our brain that we they can. That's the same thing I feel about uh, uh, Boise. Like, we've seen them do it. Yes, it was 30 years ago, but we know that they can do it. Yes. It, it's not something that we have to imagine, right? Uh, so Memphis App State, I put Boise on here. We just talked about them. Uh, SMU. Like, obviously, they've got the wallets, but, I mean, you just lost your head coach that you didn't want to lose. You just lost him to TCU. You know, I, I, I don't know that... I don't know that there are some of these other programs that would lose uh, a guy to a, you know, a, a rival, for one, but two, a guy that's, you know, just a, or a team that's just across town. Like, SMU and, thinks and, that they are as good as TCU or as big as TCU. SMU's in that conversation. Yeah. SMU's in that conversation. They've got the fan base. They've got the location. They've got everything in the equation you need to have it. Um, so, I mean, yeah, they, they should have been in that conversation. I have, it, maybe I left them out because somewhere in my brain, I think if they ever get to that level, the Big 12 sucks them up. I really do. I, oh, yeah. I think if they ever get to that level, the Big 12 goes to 14. The oh, yeah. Big, yeah, the Big 12 will, will end up adding – two teams because they'll want them and they'll basically have a division of Texas teams that yeah. they'll get to roll out, compete, and dominate in Texas. Yeah, no, I, I tend to agree. Uh, I've got, let's see, five more here. Uh, so two Mountain West schools, or sorry, three Mountain West schools. Colorado State, uh, if they ever find the coach that really, really gets it going, because McElwain had them rolling, uh, but he obviously left for Florida way back when. Uh, Fresno yeah. State and then San Diego State, like those are those are all spots that have boosters that would really really fund the program. Uh, you get something rolling in the Mountain West. We saw it with Boise before, and we we have brought up Boise on here. And those are some that you know the Mountain West is a difficult enough conference. You can if you dominate that conference, you can really make noise on a national level, and especially those with the with the recruiting hotbeds where they're located. Uh, you know, San Diego still got players. Fresno still got players. Colorado State, like that's kind of difficult, but you know, uh, I I don't think it's impossible. I don't think it's impossible at all. And, and everybody knows Colorado State got fantastic facilities. Uh, they just have kind of been harebrained about their hires. As long as they get the hire right, 
Like maybe Jay Norvell works really well there. Maybe. But we'll see. And then my, my last two, uh, USF, because they are starting to invest in the program a lot. And finally, UAB. Uh, if they keep winning at the clip that they're winning at, they could end up maybe making some noise, especially if they're moving into the AAC. They have uh, they have a lot of success there. I certainly think that they could make some national noise. You kind of feel the same? Well, making a national noise and becoming Cincinnati are two very different things. Oh, I completely agree with both of those. I, you know what? I should. This is shame on me. I should have had South Florida on the list because – there was a day and a time where they, they were on this list. I mean, they oh, yeah. were the hot up-and-coming team before UCF ever was ever thought of. They just fell apart as soon as the first good coach they had left. They didn't have the the stability of a program to make a good hire after good hire after good hire to continue to build. As you know, you're going to have coaches getting poached. They didn't, they didn't have the ability to do that. But they've got money. They've got location. They've got, uh, you know, city cachet and, and recruiting ability. They, they've got everything you need. They need to find a coach that will buy in and, and, and really, really want to be a part of Yes. Yes, I agree. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.